righty then. Love Them Knives channel. LTK here. And you're not going to believe this story. I got a story for you. You know I always got a story for you. So I saw this knife uh, online. I thought, I mean, it comes in just regular silver or it comes in this gold rose. I don't see the gold part, but I do see the rose part. See that backspacer? Look at that. Well, it's not a backspacer. It's a lock back. But in any case, black, pink, kind of crazy. Came with this uh, lanyard. Okay. So here's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Even though it's incredibly embarrassing to tell. Watch this. Okay. Think about that for a minute. Okay. So I get this knife and I get it out of the box. And here's, it's the H7 Special Edition Free. I had to pay for mine. I don't know what they're saying about free, but uh, it's gold rose, okay? So it came in this box, there's the top, there's the bottom, blankety, blankety. You know, you get all this kind of good, gobbledy good stuff. And uh, this kind of stuff too. Get to see some of their other knives. And under here, and then the microfiber cloth where they, you know, they bury the knife in the microfiber cloth. So when you open it up and under all the stuff, you see a microfiber cloth. Do not despair. It is actually encased in the microfiber cloth. So I got it out. Okay, get it out of the box. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay, so I go, okay. Um, so, oh, there's no thumb studs. It's not a flipper. So, of course, I studied hard, right? I studied hard like that. It's like, you didn't know that when you bought it? I mean, really? Seriously? In any case, so here's, here's the land. Here's the whole thing, right? So I'm going, man, what the? Jeez, that thing opens. Oh, my God, that's a, that is a bear to open. Well, that's not flickable. That's crazy. I'm going, man, that's really stiff, you know? Well, let me let me try that again. And let me close it and try it. Maybe it'll loosen it. Dang, this thing won't shut. I could not disable this thing. It was crazy. It was driving me nuts. It's like, what is the problem here? And I'm, oh, my God. All my strength, I couldn't disengage this. It's like, oh, this, this is really pissing me off now. Right? Right? Are you laughing yet? Are you laughing? This is a lock. <laughs> yeah. Okay, give me here. Get this. Drops like he... <laughs> Not a problem. Oh, my God. I did, I swear to God, I swear to God, Mr. I ain't got no brain. And I wasn't drinking or nothing. I swear to God. Sober as a saint. I'm not, I mean, there's just sometimes my brain goes on vacation. It was on R&R. &R. I don't know. You got tip up, tip down. Deep carry? Yeah, not really, but, but you figure that out? Look at that. Pull that lanyard or just click the, you know, the thing. That's a lockout. Remember that. Okay, I told you you don't have to embarrass yourself now. Ugh. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, buddy. I could tell he was ready to break loose. Yeah, I think he was watching me when I did it to begin with anyhow. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so you got a little thumb ramp with some jimping on it. And 14C, 28 inch, so it's a Sandvik Steel, H7 Special Edition, real steel. And that's it. That's all they're putting on that blade, but that's enough anyhow. Satin grind, you know, aluminum scales. And I like the way they're colored there. You know this, I don't know if this is aluminum or steel. Uh, let me see if I've got a... Yeah. I would say, yeah, well, underneath here, what do we got? Come here. Yeah, well, we got liners anyhow. No wonder I'm getting magnetic. 
But so they're weight relieved, kind of, kind of, kind of in there. But yeah, you can get through there with the uh, the magnetic will go through there too. But no, apparently this is steel. Okay, so we got that. Um, yeah, really like it though. It's I don't I'm not you know, usually big on lockback knives. But that is just a cool chunk of change. And you know what? They're not that expensive. I think 50 something dollars. So, I mean, not super cheap, but not that bad. Uh, hold on. Grab me a piece of paper. Oh, it, 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 it feels substantial in your hand. Oh, my. Oh, somebody did, did right on this plate. Yeah, okay, this is one of the sharper ones I've ever tested out of a box. That's crazy sharp. You know, a lot of times I test cold steel knives when they come out of the box and they are crazy sharp. That's cold steel sharp. You know, that's crazy, crazy sharp. That is really nice. Nice satin grind. Big flat grind on this dog. Great for slicing. Hey, you can do some piercing. What do you think that blade stock is? Come here. Yeah, three and a half millimeters, so it's not too heavy. 0.136 of an inch. Fat, so how about this handle? 0 0.52. 0 0.51. 13 millimeters. That's not bad. That's about par for the course, but I'll tell you what. Hold on. Get over here. Yeah, it's going to be heavy. I think this is going to be heavy. But you know, I don't want to I don't want to release this thing cuz I think it's going to swing down and go like this and make me unhappy. Well, okay. Never mind. Not too bad. Now, nah, it wasn't enough to swing up, you know, and hit me in the fingers. Thank God. In any case, let's go for it. What do we got ounces? Okay. Yeah, baby. Didn't do enough weight relieving, did they? So 5.82, I mean, it's, this is not super light carry. This is not like, you know, light carry knife. This is a hard use knife. This is not an expensive knife. This is a knife you can really carry, use, you know, kind of beater knife status, but beautiful beater, isn't it? Beautiful beater. Oh, let's go back to here. I'm sorry. 5.8, as we were before I interrupted myself here. Go to units, grams, 165 grams. 165 grams. It's not terribly light. No. Not quite six ounces. Um, fancy? What do you think? So there's a pair of two. Check that out, huh? Let's change the aspect ratio. They look... She looked a little smaller in the overall, but I don't think she is. I think they're about the same. I think they're about the same size. And there you go. Um, you're out fancy. Let's see what we got. Manny. Our super, super light Mannix. Yeah, I mean, uh, this thing is now going to look smaller being out here, but looks about the same. He's only about a quarter inch smaller than the Para 2, so... And now he looks smaller. So that kind of gives you that aspect. Let's just get a real tape measure on here. Should be three and a half inch blade. And it's it's three and a half. And it's eight and a quarter. So it's right on with the pair of two. Uh, 21 and a half. Uh, I mean, 21, about 21 centimeters. And 90 millimeter blade. So... It's a little, little on the chunky side, but if you're a man, you can carry this knife. <laughs> Let's just go down the intimidation road here. You know, yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, it's not light carry. It's where you're wearing work pants or jeans or something. You won't feel it then. You'll feel it if you're wearing, you know, really light slacks or shorts or something like that. Yeah, it, it's going cool. It's going to be a, uh, a bunch. Got the lockout, though. <laughs> you remember that? I do. I'll never forget it. 
I'll never forget it. So that's pretty, that's pretty good there. I mean, you don't have to worry about that thing giving up the ghost. Uh, I didn't tear it apart to kind of look at how that lock works. And do I have the interest in doing so? No, I don't actually. I've torn apart a couple of cold steel knives. I swear to God, I will never tear one apart again, especially the Formax. It's like once I got that Formax apart, it was like, yeah, I'm not sure why I did this. And so I put it back together and it went back together. So interesting. I mean, obviously it's accessible with your Torx wrenches uh, or Torx drivers. So you can do that. You can take that apart, tip up, tip down, why you need to even go down that road, I don't know. I guess there's some people that like tip down still. So they're doing that. I wouldn't. But, I mean, especially when you got this kind of radiating pattern coming across here. I think I only want to clean out one landing strip. And that's for the tip up one. And I don't think the tip down is really necessary. I mean, if you're going to do that. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know where you'd put it on this side because you've done the lockout thing here. Uh, so, in any case, yeah, right hand here. Yeah, you could stick it down here below here for a left hand. I sure as hell don't understand the tip down carry. It's just not my thing, but apparently there's people out there that like that. They may know more marketing information than I do. It comes with the lanyard, though, which is kind of cool that it's already done. And I guess if you wanted to, you could put a bead up through here, you know, just for decorative purposes. Maybe get a kind of a, you know, a salmon colored one or some purple or something would go with it. Almost anything would. Maybe gold, actually. In any case, or black, since the backspacer's that way and the pocket clip's that way. You know, I mean, the thing is, it may be, you know, 50 something dollars, almost 60 bucks. But I mean, you get a good crush proof box and you get uh, microfiber cloth and the paperwork and stuff and uh, good solid knife. I mean, you start thinking about other knives that would be competing with this. And I guess, you know, like Best Tech would be. So, yeah, they'd be in there. And I'm looking around, and no, I don't have a Best Tech knife on the table, but you know what I'm talking about. But those are G10. This is, a, this is you know, aluminum scales. Although, you know, D2 or this uh, Sandvik, mm, it depends on what you're trying to do. If you're in a wet environment, you sure don't want D2, or I wouldn't. I'd go for this. But in any case, and you do have a choil. So, I mean, sharpening, uh, I yeah, I think it'd be all right. I don't see a real issue there. And there's no recurve or anything to kind of make things more difficult. Yeah. And, yeah, three and a half uh, millimeter blade stock. That's pretty reasonable. And you know what? This thing does. <laughs> Did I unlock this? Okay, I unlocked it. Yeah. In any case. Yes, it opens just like that. I know that looks like a nail nick type deal, but, and you could do this. I mean, you could do this one-handed. Just make sure you don't swing it down under your, you know, see what I'm saying? Just not a, not a difficult thing. And probably, you know, just depending on the angle you hold it at. But, you know, it kind of will, <laughs> will swing. I mean, that's pretty easy to swing there and you don't want to, you don't want to push it, but yeah, lanyard hole. I kind of like the setup. I actually, I kind of like the color. I know. I mean, this salmon color is coming close to pink, but it's, uh, it's pretty optic, you know, drop it on the ground. Something happens. It's fairly easy to see. And I think it's, uh, I don't know. It, I, I think it's more, uh, aesthetically, uh, Mm -hmm. kind of cool with uh, this color as opposed to just this, just plain silver. Blue would be nice. A green would be nice. You can do anything with aluminum, right? So it would be kind of cool if they had other colors. Why just these two? I don't know. 
I mean, yes, this this would not have been the primary color I would have tried if I was going to do a color. You could have done gold. You could have done blue. You could have done green. You could have done purple. Oh, well. In any case. And, I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could anodize the silver ones. But, uh, yeah, that might be a lot to do with a knife that's not worth any more than this. But feels good in the hands. It really does fit the hands. Look at this. See how that is? That really fits the hands good. Feels good. Yeah. Reverse grip. Let's get around the lanyard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it does fit the hands really good. And it's not so thin. It, 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 it. Yeah. You can go up top with this ramp with the jimping. You can't go forward here, but. You know, yeah, you got control and it's sharp right out of the box. What do you think, Flanny? I mean, oh my God. I hope you weren't watching the first time I pulled it out of the box. I was befuddled for a while, but I've worked things out. All right, you guys go do what you're going to do. I'm going to let you lo <laughs> let you go for now. We got things to do. Take care, and you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.